Hello again guys, Lost is You. This video is about how to make your own colloidal silver. I'm going to post a link off to the side of some information that I got, the directions how I got how to build one, and uh, some of the benefits. And uh, We've been taking it for about two days now, and, and it does seem to be making a pretty big difference. And You hear a lot of the Patriots talking about it, so I thought, well, I'll give it a shot myself. And This is the contraption we came up with. Uh, I have a severe case of Wiley Coyote-itis. So my initial contraption had all these little nine volt battery snap on taps and they were all wired in series and soldered together. And I, I, I have a tendency to really overcomplicate something. And uh, that's not a good idea to do because apparently the wiring between the snap connectors per battery is only meant to accommodate nine volts. And when you hook batteries in series, you're looking at 36 volts and it overheats everything and it starts making noises. So you end up disconnecting it real quick and tossing it in the freezer and hoping for the best. So avoid that situation. Just clip them together the simple way, <laughs> you know, positive to negative. And, uh, and you'll see that in this, in this upcoming video. Uh, I also use number 10 gauge silver wire. I'll put the link from where I purchased that. That'll be to the right of the video where you normally see the links. Okay, here's the setup. It's pretty simple. Uh, here we have a 24 volt incandescent bulb wired in connection to the positive wire down to these alligator clips which are soldered on the end of the positive and negative. These are wire hangers in the plumbing supply. The holes are one inches apart. It'll help keep the silver wires separate from each other so they don't touch. Here's the four 9 volt batteries. This will give us the 36 volts that we need for the colloidal process. And this is just a measuring cup from Walmart. And if you notice while I soldered the alligator clips on, I took the liberty to put two holes in the top of the lid. And this is just an extra measure so I don't have to worry about the alligator clips falling into the water while it's all connected. This is distilled water. I distilled it myself. It's just a matter of catching the steam. And if anyone wants to know how I did that, I'd be happy to show you. Just let me know. And this is the number 10 silver wire. And we'll cover more of that in a second. This is how you hook up the batteries. Positive to negative. It's the only way they'll clip together. If you notice, I already have the positive alligator clip connected. I'm ready to do the negative. Runs up through the 24 volt incandescent bulb. One clip per wire, separated by that little uh, hanger there, and I have one on the bottom also, and it keeps the wires about an inch to two inches apart, which is what you want. You don't want them touching or crossing and kind of to the center of the, of the container. And there's the distilled water. Uh, this is about one and a half cups. One and a half to two cups seems to work best for us. Okay, the light's coming on. That means that we connected the negative uh, cable. And the colloidal process starts immediately. You'll see those silver molecules just start pouring off the rod. That's that hazy mist that you see there just coming off and dropping to the bottom. That's colloidal silver. That's what we want. Uh, the other pole, you'll see some bubbles coming off of there. That's just hydrogen gas. It's no big deal. Don't worry about the uh, electrodes touching or sparking or whatever. It's just you won't get electrocuted. It's pretty safe. Um, the silver rods are 0.999. Uh, silver, which means they're 99.99% pure. Uh, you don't want to use any uh, silver that has nickel in it, like uh, sterling silver, that's 9257 or something. Uh, go with the purest silver that you can find, at least 0.999, but I, this stuff seems to be pretty good and it comes highly recommended. The reason for the 24 volt incandescent bulb is in case the voltage increases and you're not really paying attention or if there's too much conductivity. You don't want it going back into the battery, so the incandescent bulb, just like an extra safety measure, will absorb whatever extra energy is coming through that circuit. Now we're going to leave this on for five minutes because they say that once the process starts, it works out to about one part per minute or one part per million per minute, and you want to shoot for about five parts per million, so we'll leave it on for five minutes before we disconnect it and shut the whole thing down. Um, on another side note, before you use the silver rods and afterwards, you want to use that little abrasive pad that you saw earlier. And you want to just scuff up the pads, the, the rods real good, and that'll help to uh, facilitate the colloidal process and the molecules coming off. So just hit them real quick, and then afterwards you'll see some oxidation on the rods, and you knock it off of those, and then you store them away. And before you do it again, you hit it with those pads, and uh, the process will go a lot smoother. Okay, we're going to come back in five minutes and see how it looks. This is what it looks like after five minutes. Now you want to mix about one to two ounces of the colloidal silver mix with water and you're good to go. Thanks for watching my video.